Hey everybody, got baseball on today, but today, today, a little rainy for the tournament that we were gonna go to, so instead, guess what? We are here at, that's right, the NCAA Hall of Champions. So today, do a quick vlog on the uh, Hall of Champions and see what it's all about. First stop that we notice is that they've got a little trivia for everybody that uh, for you to follow through and answer to have a little fun. And our first stop's gonna be the theater. So let's check that out. Okay, when you first walked in and, and you noticed that we were talking about the theater, and I forgot to show you guys what else is down here besides the theater. And as you can see, all kinds of displays of different things are over here. Um, as we go around, there's Mason. But anyway, lots of things as far as different sports, from golf to football, basketball, field hockey, Fencing, thank you, Mason. By the way, speaking of fencing, yeah, I'm with, I'm with Mason. Uh, there's a messed up fencing guy here. Unfortunately, uh, it's pretty bad because this is University of Notre Dame, who, by the way, won the national title, national championship in this year's fencing. So when you go like this and you turn here, go Irish. All right, so we got fencing here. Make our way over there. Yep. And let's see. I'm gonna walk over here real quick. And it is, this is really interesting, especially if you're into sports. Uh, I, to me, it doesn't have to be college, it could be pro, whatever, but this is very interesting here. Now we got behind us the softball, all right, women's softball. One of the things they have is right there. Now you can do trivia, look up the teams, division one teams, things like that. What else they have there that we can look up, Mason? So champions, multimedia, rankings, teams, and trivia. There you go. And you and, and the trivia is pretty cool to play. And all of them's got it, okay? For example, right there with the uh, skiing, they've got the trivia for that. They've also got the trivia for right here, and that is rowing. And also the Hall of Honor is here too, okay? So give me an idea of what's all around here on the first floor of the Hall of Champions for the NCAA and uh, some banners hanging there of all the champions from 2019 they have not updated <laughs> have not updated anything everything's back to 2019 of course 2020 nothing happened but anyway there you go first floor you're seeing it gang all right all right so let me explain uh, there are two floors here at the hall of champions and outside here you can see indianapolis victory field lights i don't know if you can see those over through the glass but they're there and uh the White River is just beyond the trees here. Anyway, main entrance is right down there. Okay, a little shop. But anyway, two floors, right? So I'm on the second floor, and this is what we're seeing right here. A lot of information, uh, which obviously you would expect at a place like this. The other thing is right here. They have the NCAA Hall of Champions Challenge. Makes you, you know, and, and, and we've got a, a grade school boys up here that's in a travel tournament for baseball so to kill some time before we play later this afternoon we've got them going through with these clipboards and getting the uh, uh, the answers so far they seem to be enjoying it anyway second floor that's what I'm talking about and there's the first floor down here again but we're gonna make our way and in here is an interactive room on the second floor when you come up here. First of all, you got the University of Alabama. Of course, they were this year's NCAA Division I football champs, the BCS champions. Okay, so the helmet and, but with me, it's always go Irish, always will be. But anyway, this is what you see when you first walk in in the interactive room here. All up top, there's more there. Then you got this. And everywhere you turn, I really like this because of the fact that they've got interaction even with the uh, screens like this that you can start uh, in, in every sport. Did you know that women's college basketball started long before men's? I learned that today. Didn't know that. Okay. 
over here. A little bit of tennis action. Simulator over here. here. And like I said, uh, <laughs> rowing, there's the boat, upside down. You can see there. How high can he jump, gang? That's the question. And we just make our way. Now over here, where the team is, everybody's throwing a ball to see how fast their speed is right now. And that's what they're working on at this point. Over on the other side, on the opposite side, it's for soccer. Right there you have that, okay? Same thing with the boys. Now we'll come in here, we'll see. And 59. Good job. All right. Then we'll make our way through. Come over here. Again, you got the trivia blitz area. Again, this is where you can take some pictures. Obviously, uh, starting board for swimming and for track. Come over here. Got all the nets. Again, this is all on the second floor. That's the exit out there. Back to the main area where we came in. Another net. And then over here, um, I'll be honest, I have it. Let's go find out what is over in here. Let's see. The other thing is, take a look at the balls they've got here. All the different balls and sizes that they use uh, for all the NCAA sports are right here too, which I think is pretty cool. Okay. And then over here, we walk in. It's more video. Get in here. Okay. There you go. All right, the other part of the upstairs is you can see a small basketball court. And everybody can shoot, including me. And uh, that's what everybody's doing in here. They got the basketball. And they've also got different places here on the floor where, you know, certain people have taken certain shots during their career. And for example, you come over here and we got this one about Michael Jordan. Pretty cool, huh? So there you go. And then like I said, you can come back out, still on the second floor, and um, try different things as you walk through the Hall of Champions, okay? And then again, you've got your exit over here as you're heading out. Uh, right now, no masks are required. They are optional here. So just to let you know that. And then again, you've got the wall, like we said earlier, of different things here. It talks about the, uh, uh, well, like the 50th anniversary of the MEAC and 2020 Hall of Fame this year. And just, you know, lots of other things. And it's really, really a neat thing. They say that it takes 90 minutes. If you're going to go through everything here thoroughly, read everything, do the interaction, then yeah, it is, uh, it'll be 90 minutes. Okay, let's keep going. All right, back to the main floor. Obviously, second floor is up there. This is what we see from down here. It's not all that big of a place, I will admit. Um, also, along with the Hall of Champions, and that's where we're at right now to learn more about the NCAA, the NCAA headquarters are also located in this building. As a matter of fact, right over there, as you can see, maybe you can see the, let me zoom in here for you guys. Right there is the sign, that's as far as I can go, for the NCAA headquarters. And it is actually that building right there. Okay, so that's the NCAA building, head, headquarters. Anyway, uh, when you come and park, just to let you know, there is a parking garage next to IUPUI, and you can park, but you're gonna have to walk around the other side of the building here, okay? You can't, the main entrance, or there's an entrance over on the side of the parking garage, but that is for the NCAA headquarter office, so can't, uh, can't walk through that, unfortunately. A shortcut, so gotta come all the way around. They do have a very small gift shop, as you can see, that's down here. You can check it out if you'd like, all NCAA Look at merchandise, there's a big sale right now on the Final Four. Merchandise from uh, basketball and everything. 
and uh, like I said, small, small items around here, uh, or a small store, excuse me. But uh, there you go. And then we come over here and take a quick look, and hats and shirts they have here as well. It is $5 to get in for adults. Kids five and under are free. Seniors are $3. Okay, and right now it's cashless, so you've got to use a credit card or a debit card to get in to the Hall of Fame uh, or Hall of Champions here in Indianapolis, Indiana. All right, so that is it for the Hall of Champions. We are done making our way back to the parking garage. It was interesting. Yeah, parking garage is $5. I thought I didn't mention that before. And believe it or not, pretty busy for a Sunday afternoon here in downtown Indianapolis. Okay, check it out if you get the chance. NCAA.com. If you liked this video, please remember to like and subscribe. Also, if you want to join us on our next adventure, let's go!